So what kinds of things do you plan on doing inside Sakai in terms of software? Things you want to build, things you want to make happen? Um, I'm interested mostly like in making things better for end users. So I'm very much interested in the user interfaces, um, developing tools. Uh, like I said, um, just end user stuff, Zool. I'm interested in doing some Zool stuff. I mean, I don't know if that'll ever be good enough for production. Um, but just lots of little, um, just like hooks all over the place uh, so people can do useful stuff. Like if uh, an instructor wants to check a user's grade, uh, or like a student's grade, I mean, they, right now they have to log in, they have to go to their site, they have to click a bunch of stuff. I'd like to create maybe like a, like a, a web bar, like, uh, like Google has toolbars for um, Internet Explorer and Firefox. I'd like to do the same thing, like an instructor's toolbar, and then the instructor could log in and they could just like pop up a grade from the course. I mean, this kind of stuff could even be like a dashboard widget in OS X. It could be like a panel applet in GNOME. Um, just all this just, just really makes stuff easier, like especially common tasks. Because, I mean, we were just looking at the load performance stuff, and it's like, you know, most people log in, do two things, and log out. Man, if you could just have that like integrated into your desktop, that'd be sweet. So I'm interested in that stuff. But, I mean, I am interested right now in also doing a lot of web services stuff. And for me, just like my selfish motivation for doing like the framework for the web services is so that I can build all these end user applications. I mean, one of the biggest things I'm really excited about doing, and which one thing I'm really excited about with the web services, is it's just this huge open source environment that's going on right now. And if you're working like in an open source stack, where everything from your operating system to your web apps is open source, then you find yourself like having to navigate like 13 different languages all day. It's like, this is written in Python, this is written in Perl, da 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 da. So I mean, I end up jumping around quite a bit. You can use services in Sakai to, um, to manage your, like, your research groups and whatnot. And then let's just say like you have a bioinformatics application suite. Um, if you could create, create some hooks in there, you could create a collaboration and research environment that you didn't have pre previously and take advantage of all the institutional stuff that Sakai offers on top of it. Apps right now, especially in emerging fields like that where you have like, you know, you have one app over here that does this, you have one app over here that does this, you have another app down here that does this. And if you could just like tie all those together by making calls to Sakai, that would be great. Even if they're not, they're not web apps, they're all using the same pool of information. Um, so I see like the, the user interface becoming really sexy in the next couple of years. Um, if, if, if anything goes my way and like I keep moving out these hooks and people solve security issues, I see Sakai being integrated all over the place in your institution, like on your desktop, on kiosks, behind the scenes, and I honestly, you shouldn't have to know about it. All this stuff is just going to be happening. Um, and it's all happening because of this just huge, just like biosphere of just open source collaboration, all these like nerdy dudes just like hanging out and like, oh, I wish Sakai would, um, you know, integrate with my Thunderbird mail client to do mail archive stuff or something. And I wish it could do this. And because, um, I mean, right now, I mean, SOAP is what we're using right now, but we might support other web services like REST and, or I don't know if that's any, but other hooks. But the point is that with all these modern languages, this stuff can be leveraged from anywhere. So it's going to be just, it's going to be just all over the place. It's going to be awesome. It's going to be a great development environment.